Guardians of the Galaxy in Thor 4. So, spoilers for Avengers Endgame coming up. In Avengers, one of my favorite parts of the movie was Thor, and specifically Thor's interaction with the Guardians of the Galaxy. So I was pretty psyched when Endgame ended with Thor going off with the Guardians of the Galaxy. So there's been this question lingering in the next Guardians of the Galaxy movie, is Thor going to be hanging out with them? Well, since Endgame happened and James Gunn came back on board to create Guardians of the Galaxy 3, he said that the script for that movie was written before Avengers Endgame and the script was not changed as a result of any of the events in that movie. So that left a lot of people scratching their head saying, so did you just write Thor into that movie or are you just going to ignore the events of Avengers Endgame? Then Thor Love and Thunder was announced, and it's been confirmed by James Gunn that that movie takes place before Guardians of the Galaxy 3. So then the question has become, not will Thor be in Guardians of the Galaxy, but will the Guardians of the Galaxy be in Thor? Finally, some light has been shed. So in a recent interview with ComicBook.com, Vin Diesel had this to say, I am waiting and excited for my friend James Gunn to knock the next one out of the park. He took the Suicide Squad, so he's about to embark on it. Thor will also, the director talked to me about Thor, will incorporate some of the Guardians of the Galaxy. That'll be very interesting. Nobody knows, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> now, anytime an actor reveals something about a movie and then says, oh, I shouldn't have said that, I don't know if I was allowed to say that, I pretty much always assume that that's a lie, that they're just saying that to make it funnier, more interesting, when in reality, I'm betting that somebody told Vin Diesel, hey, you know, the next time you're uh, doing an interview about Guardians of the Galaxy, maybe uh, mention that uh, they're going to show up in Thor. Like, this is the route they chose to, quote unquote, let it slip. But anyway, putting that aside, uh, he specifically said some of the Guardians are showing up. So what do you think, Alon? What are we going to see in Thor Love and Thunder? Do you think this is a cameo? Do you think that it's just going to be Peter Quill showing up? What's your Guardians of the Galaxy in Thor Love and Thunder prediction? Well, I definitely hope it's more than just a cameo because I love the interactions between Thor and the Guardians. It's the, the dynamic is just perfect and hilarious, and they go really good together. Um I, I guess now we know that at the end of Thor, they're going to leave each other again since it sounds like Thor won't <laughs> be in the next Guardians. So thanks for giving that away, Vin, or whoever. <laughs> James but, Gunn. Uh, That's the implication. It's We don't know for James sure. James Gunn, though. I mean. <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, I'm super excited to see them all together. Um, yeah. I hope it's more than a cameo. My guess, based off his wording here, where he says some of the Guardians of the Galaxy, Thor will incorporate some of the Guardians of the Galaxy. That just feels like really specific phrasing. So it makes me think there's going to be some sort of a time skip between Endgame and Thor, because if... It happened shortly after Endgame, then Thor would still be on the ship with them. And if he's on the ship, how do you only have some of the Guardians show up? So my guess is some time has passed. Thor has moved on from the Guardians, but for one reason or another, they have some kind of interaction. And if it's only going to be a couple of them, my guess is it's at least going to be Peter Quill because kind of the best dynamic was between him and Thor, where Thor was sort of challenging his authority. So my prediction is maybe something slightly more than a cameo, but I definitely don't get the impression that they're going to be prominent in this movie. If that's the case, and it really is just a cameo and not much more than that, I'm crossing my fingers that Thor is a decent part of Guardians of the Galaxy. I think that would be great. I think someone joked yeah. they should call it as Guardians of the Galaxy. Huh. I, I, I would love that. <laughs> um, I mean, you look at movies like Captain America Civil War, it's called Captain America, but you still have all these other characters that are prominently in the movie. So there's no reason why Guardians of the Galaxy can't be 
uh, in the duration of this film. Right, or even Thor Ragnarok, where Hulk was part of the sure. cast of that movie. Spider-Man Homecoming, where you had Iron Man in a pretty good deal of that movie. So if it doesn't happen in Thor, I hope it happens in Guardians of the Galaxy, because like I said, probably my or one of my favorite parts of Avengers Infinity War and Endgame was the interaction between the Guardians and Thor. So we'll have to wait and see what happens here.